Hey everyone, Ellery here with another Worth the Hype video. And today I'm gonna to be talking about Arden's Gardens Two Day Detox. So if you're interested in my review, make sure you stick around and stay tuned. And don't forget while you're here to turn on your notifications so you don't miss any new videos from me. All right, y'all, let's go ahead and get into it. This is a worth the hype video for Arden's Gardens Two Day Detox. Jeez, try saying that three times fast. It's a detox that I recently did to kind of kickstart my body for a workout regimen that I was starting. Um, and I just kind of wanted to like release all the stuff that was in my body because like we all know, we're all in quarantine. And the first couple weeks, I wasn't doing too good. I was kind of eating a little bit of everything. <laughs> and my body um really started to to fight against me i started having a breakout um my body was like really bloated and heavy um yeah like my ankles swelled up it was just i was having headaches <laughs> which i have migraines anyway but like they were coming back and forth it was it, it was a lot my body literally was like fighting me on top of the fact that my daily routine had changed and everything like that. So I was like, okay, I need to cleanse my system out, which is why I went and got this. Um, like I said, it's the Arden's Gardens two day fruit juice detox. Um, you're supposed to drink two gallons for two days. So one gallon a day. It says here on the back that the two day detox can help cleanse your body by removing toxins and hydrating cells with superior nutrients that repair, rebuild, and regenerate. For optimal results, drink eight to 12 ounces of detox every hour. Drinking additional distilled water every two hours will enhance the cleansing process. Um, the ingredients in it is distilled water, grapefruit juice, orange juice, and lemons. Um, yeah, that was it. I will say that it took me more than two days to <laughs> finish the entire detox but that's mainly because i'm just a person who really only drinks something when i'm eating so that's where the struggle was for me but other than that i really don't have any cons for it um my pros are in like a three-day span my skin started to clear up like i felt like my skin was clearer it looked healthier and brighter um my stomach felt better um and it also wasn't bloated. I didn't have that heavy feeling that I had been having. I didn't feel like swollen in my ankles. Um, I didn't have any headaches. Even though like I I deal with migraines anyway. So on the first day, your body's getting adjusted to the fact that you're not eating anything. So I did kind of, I started to get a headache. And in those moments, I listened to my body because my migraines can be very severe. Um, and so I ate fruit. So I do think if you feel like you have to eat something, eat fruit and that's it. So that was the only thing that I ate when I felt like I had to eat something. And that was really on the first day. It's going to hit your stomach. Okay. So just be prepared for that. <laughs> it's going to hit your stomach. But for me, it really didn't hit me until like the second day towards like the end of the day. Prior to the detox, because I knew I was going to do it. My mom calls fruits and veggies like roughage because it's stuff that just kind of like helps your body cleanse itself. So prior to that, I was eating more of that. And then afterwards, any detox will suggest to you that you do the same thing. You don't want to re-clog your body after you just spent all the time cleaning it out. Um, I had a lot more energy in those two days. Um, yeah. So like I said, I really don't have any cons. I know a big concern with any detox is always the taste. To me, it tastes perfectly fine. It's, the grapefruit is the strongest fruit that you taste in it. So that can become annoying just like that. The taste of grapefruit isn't the best anyway. I don't know how people just sit and drink grapefruit juice just, just for fun. I, like there's so many other great juices <laughs> and that's the one that you pick. Um, but then again, you can always pour like more water into it and dilute it if you want to, but it's really, it's still not that bad. It's not like a, it's not bad. If it had been disgusting, I probably would have taken a whole week 
to finish the two-day cleanse. So if you're looking for a great detox, Arden's Gardens two-day detox is a really good one. I felt like I had really good results. I did feel like my body cleansed out. I felt like I had energy. I felt like my skin cleared up. Um, and ever since then, I've been eating healthier. I've been on a workout regimen and I really did like it. It is about 50 or 60 bucks, I think, on their website, but little secret if you live near Publix Publix actually has it in the store and these were about $14 each so you still end up paying about 30 bucks but that's still cheaper than $50 and plus paying for shipping and handling so there you go and they also have all their other juices which I am a huge fan of now so if you're vegan or vegetarian um Arden's Garden is a really good juice that you can use and I've learned from one of my vegan sorority sisters that if you cannot read what all the ingredients say it's probably not vegan and or vegetarian and what I love about them is that you literally it says ingredients and it gives me four ingredients <laughs> and it's the same thing with all their juices and all their juices taste really, really good. Again, if you're looking for a great two-day detox or a detox in general, I think that you all would definitely enjoy this one. Um, I will put a link below to their website. But like I said, go to Publix if you have one. If you don't, I'm sorry. Ask a friend who lives near Publix to get But anyways, that is my review on the Artist Gardens two-day detox. If you have any questions, leave me some comments below. Or if you've done it yourself, let me know your thoughts. Did you have a good experience or was it nasty? Did you feel like it didn't do anything at all? Leave me some comments below. Let me know what you're thinking. Just talk to me because I'm tired of being socially distant and I need people to talk to. So there's that. Let me know. Anyways, y'all, until my next video.